There's a fish, buddy. That's number one. I hope it ain't a white bass. He ain't come up yet. I bet you it's going to turn out to be a white bass. So it ain't going to be fish number one. <laughs> Man, I was excited, though. Yep, it is. It is. Doggone. It's a good one, too. Let's bring him in here. Dang, man. I thought for sure I had me a good bass on. And I do. It's just the wrong species. Got him on a spinner bait. We're going to throw him in the cooler. All right, let's get back to it. There's got to be a large mouth through here somewhere. Y'all, I'm out here today fishing in the Fishing for Soldiers tournament. Uh, this is a tournament that's held every fall. I look forward to it every year. It's always the best bass tournament in this area. And uh, this year, they've made it a two-day tournament. It's normally a one-day event. And so today is day one. And it's about 10.30 right now. I wasted the first part of my morning. We're allowed to fish pretty much anywhere in East Tennessee. And I started my day on another body of water. And what a mistake that was. I uh, went out there with high expectations. And a few hours later, I had two tiny smallmouth that both of them combined wouldn't made me one fish that I need for this tournament. And so this tournament scores were five longest bass each day. So it's a total of 10 fish will take home the win. And uh, there's also a big fish prize. Biggest bass of the weekend wins a brand new Hobie Outback kayak. So uh, between the, the high entry fee, creating a high prize pool, and the fact that there's a brand new kayak on the line, this tournament is worthwhile to fish, and I have blundered the first half of day one. So I'm out here now on Watts Bar. This is where I fished the last tournament last weekend and got some fish out here on a spinner bait. So I thought, I'm going to come over here. We'll try this same creek again, see what's going on back here. And if I can get me some fish and scrounge up a decent limit today, great. If today just bombs for me and I'm out of the uh, chance to win going in tomorrow, well then tomorrow I'm going to swing for the fences all day. I'll be out there throwing a big swim bait or something just hoping to get that one big bite and take home that kayak. So that's going to be the plan. Right now I'm just going to keep working this creek, throwing this spinner bait, see what happens. Right there. Right there. What is that? Hope it's a large mouth. It's not. Oh, white bass. Another one of them old white bass, folks. Get right there by the kayak. Got me excited. Wasn't meant to be this time, but we'll throw them in the cooler for bait anyway. thing pulled hard. I thought I'd stuck it in a limb. Oh, that's a big largemouth too. That's what we need, folks. Get that net, boy. That'll help us. That'll help our calls. I thought I'd set that hook on a daggone limb because it didn't hardly move. We pulled it right in him. Well, it's been a long day, y'all. I think it's somewhere somewhere around 1 o'clock. This is the first keeper bass that I've scored out here today, but it's a good one. Yeah, man. Look at that. Let's get her board out. All right, y'all. 17-inch largemouth. Well, if I could get me four more like that, I might have a chance in this thing. 
Let's let him go. All right, that's encouraging. Fish, it is. We got another one right here. Oh, that's another good bass too. Right on the edge of them weeds. Right on the edge right there. And I'm gonna blow up on him while I'm fighting him. We got netting here before I try to get out of the way though. All right, he's in the net now. Yeah, man. Before I blow over here where he was at, let me get off these weeds. And the garage drive in reverse here. Boy, I'm in bad shape. <laughs> I've been fishing out of my other kayak with the motor too long. This kayak, this tournament I'm in today don't allow motors, so I'm back into Hobie with the pedals. And I am uh, out of sorts out here today, but I got me another one, by gosh. And it's another pretty good one. This may be bigger than the last one. All right, y'all, another 17-inch largemouth. If I can just get me three more of those now, I'm gonna be in good shape. Let's keep doing what we do. Well, guys, day one of this tournament is in the books, and it did not go anything like I had hoped out there today. I only got two scorable fish, both largemouth, and both were nice fish at 17 inches, but that's just not gonna do anything for me and this style of a tournament like i said it's a two-day event with your five best fish each day and out of 25 of us out there there were only three people that got a limit today so it was tough fishing for just about everybody except for those top three guys and they all put up phenomenal scores jordan marshall's in the lead right now with like 92 inches so he had an excellent day out there but once you get on down to like fourth place fourth place is like over 30 inches off the lead so going into tomorrow one of those three guys at the top is going to have a chance at winning and all the rest of us are pretty much just mathematically eliminated that's the thing with this style of a tournament you're not going to win it on day one but you can for dang sure lose it on day one and i have lost it out there today but all hope is not lost going into tomorrow like i mentioned earlier the biggest bass of the two-day event here is going to win a brand new kayak it's a 2020 hobie outback so that's the big prize of this tournament so tomorrow with me being having no chance you know of, of cashing in this thing i'm going out there swinging for the fences i'm going to take my big swim baits my striper plugs and big ac plugs and my uh, my uh, bull shad and i'm going to go out there and just fling them things start to finish because you know i got nothing to lose at this point if i get skunked oh well if i pull in a big fish hey i might win me a kayak right now the leader for the big fish and, and that kayak is 21 and a quarter inches so that's a big fish it's gonna be tough to beat but like i said i got nothing to lose going into day two so i'm gonna go in here rest up and we'll pick this video up again in the morning all right y'all day two of this tournament the morning started out really slow for me but finished up strong so this morning i come out and did exactly what i told you i was going to do throwing big baits swinging for the fences looking for that one big bite and i threw a lot of big baits man i threw this uh bull shad here i threw the bull wake bait got a big ac plug i was slinging and uh threw one of my big musky baits just could not get anything going i mean i fished and fished and fished not even a touch at those baits not even a swipe at it so a few hours into the day i make my way back here where i am now back here in this pocket winds blowing directly back in here into this creek and i noticed over here there's a million or more probably thread fin shad just small thread fin shad and i saw some of them get blown up on there was a big surface eruption and so i threw that i had the bull shad on the time threw it in there a few times nothing happening i said okay let me switch over to a top water so i threw a whopper plopper in there made several casts wouldn't touch it so i said okay these thread fin shad they're feeding on they're smaller let me put on a rattle trap spent 20 minutes or so slinging the rattle trap and i finally i was like you know the last month or so the the tournaments i've been in the only thing i've had any success on has been the spinnerbait and i had it with me here today 
and I threw that spinner bait and about four or five casts later, boom. Now this first fish I'm gonna show you, not gonna be a lot of commentary in it because I had a bass boat right up on me. They had come in here, got right on top of me, so I wasn't gonna tell them what I was throwing or what I was doing. So you won't see much commentary in the first fish, but I get back on it on the rest of them. So here's the action. That's a good fish, y'all. That's a good fish right there. Whew. I was hoping to find that back here. That mark on his head. 19 and three quarter inch largemouth. Let's find some more like that. fish. Got another one. Oh, he's just a little one though. He's a little one. But he's a large mouth. I'll measure him just for doo-doos and giggles. I saw some more busting. I wasn't sure if it's large mouth or, or white bass. Go ahead and throw him on the board just because, though. Another one on a spinner bait. It's the only thing I can catch fish on out here. Yeah, that's only 15 and a quarter. Not going to help me. Got my heart rate up, though. It's been a long day out here of not catching fish. Uh, threw that dang swim bait all morning long, just swinging for the fences. I just couldn't even get a bite on it, man. I threw several swim baits, actually. The bull shad, uh, the bull wake shad, my big AC plug. Of course, out here on these big schools of shad that I've run into, I've thrown, well, I threw them swim baits, I threw rattle trap, I threw top water. But it's a spinner bait. There's another one. There's another one. That's a little bigger right there. That's a little bigger. Oh, man, they turned it on right here. Again, on a spinnerbait. Getting that net. That is a nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth right there. Right here in the back of this daggone creek. Busting shad. We'll go ahead and measure this one too. Again, I don't think he's going to help me. But, I'm going to go ahead and put him on the board here. That's a nice smallmouth, man. Relax for me. Relax. Relax. All right, guys. 19 inch smallmouth. Let's let him go right fast, and we're gonna get over here and make some more cast. Again, that's not gonna help me so much because it's not gonna get me that kayak for the big fish, and I'm out of contention and cashing in this thing after my performance yesterday. But there's clearly some big fish here right now. Oh, my spinner bait's messed up too. There's clearly some big fish working these shad right here. I'm just here in the back of this pocket. The very back of this creek. A wind's been up today and it's blowing right down in here. And it's got these shad all kind of in one area. And I'm working this spinner bait. These fish are here busting these schools. And I'm bringing this spinner bait into and out of them schools. And it looks like fleeing bait fish. And it's getting picked off as them fish see it running. There's not a lot of bass back in here. I don't believe anyway. The blow-ups I've seen have been kind of sparse, kind of sporadic. But they clearly hear. And the bite's definitely getting better as the day has went on. So... I got just a few more minutes here to fish. I think it's about 1.15ish right now. 
So I'm gonna make a few more casts and see if I can pull out that monster here in the final minutes. Man, how awesome would that be? Give me a 21 and a half inch large mouth or small mouth and win that dang kayak in the final minutes. We'll see if I can make it happen. Well guys, the few fish you saw in this video were all pretty good quality, at least by my standards, but you know what they got me today? Zero. Didn't earn me a dime out here. But I'll tell you what, if there's such thing as a moral victory, I did move up in the standings today. Uh, I ended up being in fifth place, at least if, assuming the leaderboard stays the same as it is right now. The tournament has concluded. Uh, fifth place. You know, there's 25 of us in this thing. Some really good bass fishermen here in East Tennessee fish this thing, and I beat several of them. So, you know, fifth place ain't worth nothing in the checkbook, but hey, it's a moral victory, and I can hold it over some of them's heads, right? Okay, for those of you who stuck around to the end, here's a little postscript update for you. I told you it's wrong while I was out there on the water. I thought it was just paying out cash to them three spots, and that was it, but Fortunately, I was wrong. There were a lot more prizes there uh, that was given away and me getting fifth place I won some of them. So let me show you what I got here So I actually got two fishing rods um, this one here this Enigma titanium rod I got it and also Enigma a reel uh, That was my prize for finishing in fifth place and I also happened to win a drawing for another rod Which I'll show you here. This is a TFO pacemaker rod and uh, y'all have to forgive me I don't know a whole lot about this fancy bass gear but I was told that both of those rods are really nice rods and high-end quality so uh, pretty excited about it man if I'd known they were you know doing the prizes on down I might have went out there and tried to get me a few more fish earlier in the day instead of slinging that swim bait the whole time but you know nevertheless I had a good time out there and you know got to fish against those guys. That's a good group uh, that fish these tournaments around here. And Jason McCormick does a phenomenal job in this Fishing for Soldiers tournament. He just puts this on every year, puts a ton of work into it, gets all these sponsor prizes and makes sure everybody has a good time while also raising money for an awesome cause, which is the Smoky Mountain Service Dogs here in East Tennessee. So if you want to see the other leaderboard results there, go to the Fishing for Soldiers Facebook page. Jordan Marshall ended up winning it. He dominated start to finish. And Eric Burkhart, with his 21 and a quarter inch largemouth, took home that Hobie Outback. And that's awesome from him. I'm happy for him. It could not happen to a better guy. So anyway, guys, I had a great time out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.